What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Tsukaima, and welcome to CN Toy Hunting Tour, the toys you want to get. And today, my family and I, we went to Target right here in the street of Slauson, and that Target doesn't have that much for toys, but they brought some Star Wars figures. And some of them, they look very good. And I managed to buy only one. I know I said I'm not going to be doing no more toy hunts because I'm planning to go to the San Diego Comic Con of this year. But only for this time, right? Because next time, there won't be any more toy hunts for a while. But before I went to Target, I did went to Curacao, right there next to Target. And, well, I didn't find nothing good. But they did have a bunch of anime figures from Bleach, One Piece, Naruto, and especially Yu-Gi-Oh. I just love Yu-Gi-Oh so much. But everything's going to be all voice recorded because both Kurosawa and Target will play the songs in the store very loud. And like I said, I don't want any of my videos to get copyrighted from the songs they're playing inside of the stores. So everything's gonna be all voice recorder. So meantime, guys, enjoy the footages. All right, my first store I went, it was Curacao. And this was my first time hunting inside of a Curacao. And you can see, I found a bunch of figurines of anime like Naruto, My Hero Academia, Hunter x Hunter, Bleach, and Yu-Gi-Oh. They also had Avatar and Death Note. And that Ichiko Kurosaki figure looks so awesome. Look at the detail. And also Al from Death Note. And look at the Dark Magician Girl. That piece was a beauty. I don't know what toys were these. It says monsters. I think that one is a Swamp Monster. The Visual Man. And they had some WWE action figures. Like Jeff Hardy. And some Divas. And more monster toys right there. Jurassic World toys and Harry Potter and they also had a little bit of Pokemon toys and they look kind of cool but also kind of small and more figurines of animate and I really love that Ichigo Kurosaki so much but I don't know how much they were selling them but they had a lot of Sakura's, Naruto's and Hunter x Hunters and some of these, they look amazing. And right in back of me, they have a bunch of Legos like Star Wars and Lego City. Kurosawa didn't have that much for Legos. They only had these sets. I used to have some of these when I was a kid and they look kind of fun. Right next to these sets, I found more Jurassic World toys and from here I left and I went to Target. But like I said, this Target doesn't have that much for toys. Well, I did find some Mario toys and some of them they were based from the film. I only found this Marvel Legend Iron Man and some G.I. Joe figures right there. I don't know how many were there, but I also found some McFarlane toys of DC Multiverse. They only had this Batman and some other ones around like this guy right here. And Aquaman right there in the top. Here in this spot, I found Transformers and Star Wars, like Dark Vader. He is my favorite character. Transformers right there in the top, but I don't know where they're from. I don't think they're from the movie, the one that came out last year. Check it out, Optimus Primo, and that sucker is very big. Masters of the Universe, and they only have few. 
They look okay, but I like the old ones more. And right next to them, I found some Godzilla vs Kong and more Jurassic World. And another Dark Vader figure. I think it's the same one that I have right now. And some Ninja Turtles right there. Not a lot for WWE. I thought they had another Transformers right there, but it's the same one. And right there, there's all the Star Wars figures. And I managed to buy this guy. It only costs 17 bucks for each one. And there's Hera and another Cad. All of them, they look very good. And there's that one. And also this one. For the first time that this Target brought Funko Pops. But I don't know where they're from. More Transformers right there in the top. And Hot Wheels right there. And from here, I left from Target. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the footage. And I only bought one thing on this hunt. So I bought the Star Wars Black Series car band. And he looks pretty good. You can see the guns that he comes right there inside the package. But the package is kind of open right here. You see? And also here in the top. Just a little bit, but not that much. And these packages, I don't really like them that much. But this figure does look so cool. It only cost me 17 bucks. They also was they also had Dark Vader, but I already have a Dark Vader figure. And I think the same one that I have right now. And there's a picture right there in the back side of the box. Alright guys, so thank you for watching today's hunt. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. Like I said, I won't be doing any more toy hunts for a while. And hopefully, I see, I see you guys over there in the San Diego Comic Con of this year. Remember, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my videos. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting. And i see you next time. And also i see you in the San Diego Comic Con. This is CN Sukaima, and he's out in line.